Okay, I'm going to be making some whale turbicles here to paste them onto my um, new wings. The way I'm going to make it is those spoons there. I bought them for another purpose, um, but uh, what I'm going to do is mix up some fiberglass resin. And I've got these spoons all laid out here. I'm going to take this spoon and put a little bit um, in there, find the measurement that works for me, and uh, lay out, cast a bunch of uh, little turbicles. I'm going to spray it, the spoons first with uh, WD-40, give it a quick mist with WD-40, should keep it from sticking and we'll see where it goes from there. I had to do a little adjusting on the spoons to get them to lay where I want to make a nice form. Let them sit there for a while, see what happens. Okay, I have 28 units in cast. All I have room for in my little support here, so that's why that amount. I'll uh, put 14 on each side of one of the uh, one of the wings I'm flying right now, and I should be able to. As I was saying, I should be able to tell how the uh, units are doing if I put 14 on each side for the 28 total. Not positive that these are going to uh, fit properly. I may have to redo them. So there we are. I will uh, give you an update when uh, on this when I get the. Uh, units mounted up on the blade. Uh, because I've got two different uh, styles here, bumpy and uh, smooth, I think I'm going to test them individually. Um, I'm going to simply put uh, the smooth ones on both sides of the wing. Well, I probably don't have enough to do that, so I guess I'm going to mix them up and, and just uh, do both sides of, of one wing and test them from there. I'll update you after that. This is my little test at uh, solar heating the little turbicles I've made to put on my mill. It works. I can force them into a shape, but not really well. So, what I came up with was this. short piece of black pipe I lay them out in a row on and here I've got my torch uh, set on low just maintaining a nice nice heat into the inside of that pipe heating the pipe up all the way along and those stay nice and soft and there they are Right now the mill is on dead shorted out. I'm getting winds here right on it, probably three meters per second, maybe two. My guesstimates. Um, indicator right there. It's very accurate. If the wind hits it from the right directions, almost straight out 90 degrees is around 2 meters per second. It's just a very light piece of aluminum and uh, it's gusting a little bit. If I was getting actually I said 3 meters per second, if I was getting that this thing would be turning 
about 25 RPMs even under dead short. But there they are. I'm going to uh, try them for a while actually now that I've got those on there. Um, I do plan on taking the wings off and taking it down to my wind tunnel and testing them there. And there the tubercles are flying. Are they any benefit or hindrance? I thought I'd be able to tell, but I really can't. It does seem to spin up a little faster when it gets hit by wind. But that could be a subjective thing too, not positive. I could say though it doesn't seem to hinder it either. We'll see. I have to take them off and take them through the wind tunnel and test. That's all I can do. But as you can see by the flag on the one wing, they're constantly flying above one TSR anyway. That's a bonus. They actually run in the uh, little above three. These are the little vortex inducers mounted on the wings. As you can see, there are they, there they are. As you can see, I got some of them to form pretty close to the shape of the of the wing. as it comes around the leading edge. I'm sure they're producing a certain amount of drag associated with shoddy workmanship. But I did the best I could under those circumstances. Basically no wind going on right now except for gusting around the wind speed indicator down there at the base of the pole, just flickering. It's that little piece of metal you see hiding behind the pole right now. See it flickering out from either side a little bit. But it's still enough to start these things. And they don't produce enough drag on those little vortice inducing bumps to not start, so I think I'm ahead of the game. I'm hoping. <laughs> 